With the recent release of Raids 3, there are now a ton of people buying and using the Toxic Blowpipe, Serpentine Helm, and Trident of the Swamp. Since all of these items, and the scales that charge them, have one thing in common, they come from Zora, the potential money to be made has skyrocketed at this boss. I decided that the best way to take advantage of this would be to stay at Zora for 3 hours instead of the normal 1 hour that I do, so keep that in mind for the final price check at the end. The wiki estimates the hourly profit of Zora to be about 2.3 million, but if you subtract a profit from the rares that you may not get, it, this is lowered down to about 1.6 million. The only requirement to get to Zalra is the Regicide quest, and you can get the Zalandra teleports that bring you here from the Grand Exchange. Okay, coming in with the first kill here. A big portion of loot was actually in Zalra scales, sometimes dropping as much as 600 scales in one drop. For the first few hours, the gear I used was an armadillo set with a toxic blowpipe loaded with adamant darts, a necklace of anguish, an Ava's assembler, and instead of using the blowpipe special attack which would heal me, I used a dark pole for the special attack. I found it worked really well and would sometimes even hit very high. My max hit was about a 40-40 when I had ranging potion. Just got the first dragon halberd drop of the video, a nice 150k drop. And for my magic setup, I used the Aram's robe set, an imbued magic cape, an occult necklace, the mage's book, and the toxic trident. And I always tried to have the imbued heart active, which was giving me a bonus of 9 magic levels. Over the years, the profit from Zelvara has really went down quite a bit, but I guess it was known as the money snake for a really long time, so they had to nerf it eventually. With this update, Zelvara scales have almost doubled in price. I'm not sure if they'll stay up in price or slowly fall back down though, but as of right now, Zelvara is a pretty decent money maker, and it takes a really long time to learn, but once you do get used to it, it's actually pretty easy. I can play other accounts while fighting Zoro because of how predictable all the phases are, but on bosses like Borkath for example, I have to keep watching for when the fireball one hits me. Okay, we're into the third hour now, and I ended up adding the blessed boots to the setup for a little bit of extra range bonus. The winner from the last giveaway is on the screen now. They won the money from the one hour at the Revenant's Cave loot video. Leave a comment or message me in game to get your gold. At the end of this video, I'm going to be doing another giveaway for one hour loot from Zora. To enter, all you have to do is watch the entire video, and at the end, comment on a boss or monster you would like to see me do a video on, and don't forget to include your runescape username and if you enjoy the content please consider subscribing it's completely free and helps me grow the channel okay we're well into the third hour now and the loop tab is looking pretty decent the 9000 solar scales is looking very nice i haven't actually gotten any of the rares i've been having really bad luck when it comes to rare drops and of course i had to include the deaths in this video too because no matter how good you pray sometimes the mage phase is actually a range phase and stacks you for 70 damage but thankfully you can get everything back for just 100k so i re-geared and ran back just in time to misclick and get stunned into the fog and die again so I went back and got one more kill and then decided it was time to sell the loot tab. I think I did good with the loot from 3 hours of Zelra, other than not getting any of the rare drops. The normal drops did pretty well. I really do enjoy doing Zelra. These 3 hours put me over the 200 kill count so I'm pretty used to the mechanics now. But I would prefer if I had better gear. I was banking between every kill so if I could stay more than one kill per trip I could make a lot more money from it. The first inventory which was most of the items sold for 1.8 million. And then the Zora scales and runes, which were the most value, ended up putting to total value from 3 hours of Zora just over 5 million.